Hello everyone, it's Dalk here and today we got a different type of video. Today I'm going to talk about the Scent Stars toy line and the company that made it, MEG Toys. So first off, I want to talk a little bit about the history of these dolls. Most of the information and the pictures I found was from the MEG Vimo and their official website www.megtoys.com. The other information about Series 2 was found on the Stink Blasters fandom Scent Stars wiki fandom page as I could not find it on the official site or any results really. <laughs> Scent Stars were released in 2004 by MEG Toys and produced by Tomy. MEG, originally named as Verizon Entertainment Group, was based in California and had been in the industry since 1991. Their toys produced include Monster in My Pocket, Puppy in My Pocket, Kitty in My Pocket, Pony, Ocean, and Baby, all of the same concept. Figures that can fit in your pocket. Funny enough, I personally remember these lines. I completely forgot about them until doing research on MEG. I actually had the elephant from Jungle in My Pocket. I had it for a while until it was donated in my early adult years, I believe. I remember getting it from a magazine I always bought targeted for tween girls back in early 2000s. Back then, they would often have add-ins or toys attached to magazines. They still do this, but I remember it happening often back then, and it was so exciting. I believe it was Girls World, but it could have been Discovery Girls, or more likely Animal Tales. My memory is still a little hazy there. They also had headliners, which were collectible sports figures, power bugs, which were bug toys based off of vehicle type movement, d -d 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 dudes, oh my gosh, <laughs> which were little collectible figures focusing on hats and shoes in their design. They also had an app to go with it, which is pretty cool. In 2003, they released Stink Blasters, a figure line that were targeted towards boys. When you squeezed them, a disgusting smell was released. I'm really interested because I never actually own or smelt any of them before. Their scented figures include, but not limited to, rotten egg, skunk, sweat, earwax, toe jam, and farts. As gross as those were, they actually later had a sister line. These were targeted towards girls and featured pleasant smells. Their line was called Scent Stars, and like I mentioned earlier, was produced back in 2004. These figures had more doll-like attributes, as they had some articulation, some fabric pieces, and rooted hair. From what I found as research, this was the first time they strayed away from figures, aside from power bugs, which were <laughs> like a kind of car toy. Now, before I continue talking about Scent Stars, our main star of this video, I want to talk about Talent High. Now, this seems to be a doll line, and I am kind of excited about it, honestly, if it ever does end up being released. The MEG website says this doll line is still in the works. Now, this name might ring some bells, as it sounds pretty similar to a few other doll lines previously created, though this line is focused around a group of friends who aspire to be a star. The MEG website says that this story takes place in a very special high school setting, which I am assuming it's like a talent-focused high school as per its name. <laughs> they say that this toy line will have dolls, play sets, and more. It also looks like there will be a kind of app involved, kind of like d -d 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 dudes did. I actually hope this line comes out because the story in the comic seems really cute. I just wonder what they'll look like. Um, but here are some pictures of what seems to be a playset sketch as well as some potential characters. So with the history of Scent Stars Company, MEG, aside, Scent Stars initially had 12 dolls released in their first series. Bubblegum, Rose, Cookie, Baby Powder, Orange, Cinnamon, Peppermint, Jasmine, Popcorn, Vanilla, Lemonade, and Apple Pie. Each of the dolls had one of these scents. The characters were Trisha, Olivia, Cookie, Bibi, Kate, Cindy, Maggie, Lily, James, Vanessa, Lizzie, and Jordy. When you squish the star on these dolls' heads, or any part of their head really, one of these scents came out through the hole in their mouths depending on the character, the scent would vary. These dolls were small figures on the 1 12th scale, about so anyways. Had squishy heads, rooted hair, molded on bodysuit type of clothes, with a fabric skirt or shorts. Their legs and arms had very basic movement and some variants came with a bottle that you could store the doll inside. Storing the doll inside the bottle would help keep the scent in. I've come to find this out since I have two and one of the bottles I have lost throughout the years. They later came to have a second series with six dolls, Jillian, Alyssa, Natalie, Courtney, Lucy, and Tess. The scents this time around were mint, gardenia, banana, watermelon, licorice, and rain. The series two came with mini dolls as well. Those scents were one of lemon, 
cinnamon, sugar, orange, baby powder, rose, and popcorn. Series 2 only seemed to be released in Poland and Czechia, unfortunately. All the information I got about Series 2 I found on the Stink Blasters fandoms Sendstar page on Wiki Fandom. I never personally heard of or saw this series prior to. The pictures I found through their source links, though I could not understand the language on those sites, it seemed to be an eBay type of site. In European countries, Sendstar's was called Perfimela. Another series they had was a wearable version of Series 1 characters. They were minifigures that could attach to either a brooch, hair clips, rings, or bracelets. This line was also released in 2004 with the first series. The last type of toy produced from this doll line is a scent salon playset. Its concept is actually pretty interesting. You could mix scents by putting this lip gloss type of product on the doll or on the paper provided as shown in the commercial. Kind of like how department stores sample perfume, which I thought was a really cool touch. The salon came with hair glitter, stick-on earrings, clothes, accessories, stickers, furniture to go in it, and a varying doll. It looks super cute, though I never actually saw it as a kid, and I really would have liked it back then. So now that I've talked enough about the toy history stuff, let's get to looking at some of the dolls. Okay, so here are the little Sunstar dolls that I have. Now, I don't have the bracelet that goes with this one. I used to, but it must have gone missing or I gave it away or something. I also don't have her bottle. This is Cindy, the cinnamon smelling one. This is Trisha, the bubblegum smelling one, and she still very much smells like bubblegum. If only you could smell through the camera, but trust me, she still very much smells like bubblegum. This is the bottle. It's just got like a little green star on the top. Now, Different dolls came with different colored bottles. I think, I wanna say hers was either yellow or red. I can't remember. I think it was yellow, I wanna say, but it would make more sense if it was red. I'm, I'm not sure. But I mean, Trisha's, you'd think it would be pink, but it's green, so. I also remember, like I oddly remember some of them, but I don't remember having the doll, if that makes sense. Like. I could have sworn I had at one point the um, baby powder smelling one, but it also might be that I just really wanted that one. And I went and I probably went and saw her like multiple times at the store and, you know, kind of like looked at her. I think that's what it was. This is Trisha. I believe her hair is supposed to be in pigtails originally, like this kind of. Now she's got a hole in the corner of her mouth and that's how the smell comes out. You just like puff their head like this. Their heads are very squishy. It advertises pressing on the star, but I mean, it's the same thing. It puffs the head out. So that's the little gimmick. Now they're really cute dolls. They're very small. They can kind of sit down the articulation like this. Can kind of sit down a little bit. She's got her finger pointing up like she's got an idea and you just have movement at the shoulder and that's it. Same with this gal, although is her hand mold is a little bit different. Their skirts fall down very easily, but they're wearing this like bodysuit type piece, kind of like a bathing suit. She's got a very like fun print, like three stripes, giving bubblegum vibes like it's supposed to. Then the cinnamon one, I think they describe her as flirty. It's kind of funny. I think that's why her eyes are like this. Now, I'm not sure if she faintly smells like cinnamon or if it's just, I don't know, plastic smell. No, she doesn't smell like cinnamon anymore. She wasn't kept in her bottle and I also had to wash her. So the smell is gone, but same articulation. She's got like this kind of ballet slipper thing going on. Her skirt is more like a fabric one. This was meant to be a jean skirt, I believe. And she's got a little star bodysuit and a necklace. This one does not have a necklace, but yeah, so these are these two. She is supposed to have like two different colored hair bands to make into little ponytails. Let's actually, let's look at the rooting on this. For like a non-actual doll, like it's not bad, like an, a non-fashion doll line or anything like that, like it's really not bad. So it's really interesting. And like I found in my research, I believe this was the first time that they had, not fashion dolls, but like doll type figures. <laughs> now this is the little figure that's supposed to go on either a ring, a bracelet, a brooch, or a hairpin. The back has a little hole so that you can put the peg in and wear it. That's the whole theme. Now there's no articulation at all. There is a puffy head, but not as much as the others. And it doesn't really smell like anything. 
although there is a hole to get the smell out, but this is probably just age and it wasn't in a bottle. I think the only reason why Trisha smells like so much like bubble gum is because she was in her bottle. She was stored in her bottle over time. These are the dolls that I wanted to show you. To me, it's a very interesting, like this whole line. I have a lot of memories about it. I remember going to shoppers, drug marts, Canadian store. Uh, it's like a, a drug store as the name implies. They have toys there as well and they had this line at one point and I remember wanting like all of them because I just loved, like I loved gimmicks as a kid. I really did. I think a lot of kids like the gimmicks in general but I really love that they were scented. So these dolls to me were very cool, even though they're not, like they're very interesting design, but they're kind of minimal, you know, nothing too crazy going on. But anyways, I just found these interesting and I really wanted to share what was in my collection and do a little bit of research. And it's really cool. The talent high thing that I was talking about to me is a very cool. So I wonder in the future if we will see that if it is in the works and didn't get like canceled or anything like that. Because I know there are some doll lines that were like, you know, there were prototypes produced and stuff and then they just drop it. So who knows what's going to happen, but we'll see as time goes on. So that's it for this video. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, and commenting if you don't mind. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!